Oh, we got someone. Someone, someone's come on there. Yo. Yeah. Yes, G Wise. What you say, bro? What's going? What's going on? You, you have what's... to explain to me. Tell me your plan to get rich and or retire early. Alright, let me tell you my plans, my bro. So, mm -hmm. currently twenty four. I've just literally copped a property last year, June. So I'm looking to try and grab like three more before I turn 30 and then move out. So that's how I'm trying to retire early. Obviously, I've learned that from my own research, but obviously watching your videos, it's kind of giving me more knowledge. And to be fair, I'll be honest, property is the best game so far, man, because at the end of the day, you're getting money from work, you're getting passive income, you know what I'm trying to say? So it yeah. kind of helps hand in hand, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing with property, it ain't no fast game. If any of you that are looking for fast, quick money, hey, you, you better go. Nah, you better nah, nah. That's, that's for long day. term. Yeah. That's for long term because if you look at it, I, I'll break it down to you, innit? It's like, cool. Let's say I've got a property now nah, I've got now. You're earning like £400 profit a month. Let's say I've got four now. I'm earning 1600 monthly. On top of that, I'm earning money from work. And then let's say now, cool. Like you said, after three, four, five years, you want to remortgage. Got more, you got more remortgaging money, you buy more properties, you're laughing, you know what I'm saying? So obviously yeah. that's that's the mindset I have, because even when I watch your videos, it's like what you're saying is like what I think as well. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like man are buying whips on for wasting it on girls, money on girls. Like no one's saying you can't enjoy your life, but you've got to have a foundation. Do you get? So Trust me. like like even even me, bro, I used to be in Northampton as well. Like what you're doing, I used to be around there, bro. I know Northampton very well still. I used to do my thing there. Obviously, it came up to the ends now, but it's like yeah. London's too quick, man. Like you're seeing everyone in flashy whips, but if you look at their savings or assets, they've got no assets. You know what I'm trying to say? Uh, so, <laughs> they got nothing. <laughs> nothing. But you see, the beauty of property yeah, is mm. like what I would try and advise everyone to do try and get as much properties as soon as possible. Because 100. at first, yeah, you, you're not going to really see that much. But like you said, in five years or whatever, yeah, then when the value's increase, then you remortgage. You see this youth here, yeah? I popped his name in the thing, Ahmed Khan, yeah? Mm -hmm. Obviously, he didn't need to say this for me to know this anyway. But yeah. he was talking about one of his friends bought a property either five years ago or 10 years ago. I can't remember it. It basically yeah. doubled in price. Yeah? It went from 250 to 500, yeah? So yeah. it's probably 10 years. Um in between when he bought the properties and that mm. the guy done a remortgage and the bank gave him 200 grand i was like oh imagine yeah the, the bank gave him 200 grand and remember that 500 grand property his friend don't live there so it's not like a a, a short-term liability where he's paying that's a rental property so the, bank only, the bank's only going to give you that 200 grand if they know when they revalue at the new price if mm. the rental income is going to cover it imagine, imagine them putting 200 grand straight into your account that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying bro about the property thing because me personally i've got properties up in preston that's why i've got my first property so that's i'm looking that. to buy you know preston's like it's like oh it's like in between manchester and liverpool it's in between them sides so preston oh, Peter, okay. yeah yeah so i've got one up there and then i bought that in june so then yeah. i'm planning to get the next one probably hopefully next year so every two years, basically. So I have enough time that when I buy another house, I've still got a bit of money saved up for other stuff, you know what I'm trying to say? So that's yeah. the kind of mindset I have. And I can't lie, I really know that from young, like I said, but see me watching your videos, bro. Like, I don't think you understand the knowledge you're dropping to people, bro, because okay. man's, from, man, man, man's from the ends, isn't it? So yeah. like, when man hears you talking, it's like, man's hearing like me talking, you get what I'm trying to say? Like, Bro, like, I'll be honest, man, on Instagram, I've seen all these gimmicks and all these guys I'll be saying, oh, you could be a millionaire from rent to rent and that, bro, it's all bullshit, bro. Like, let's be real, bro. Like, you know what I'm trying yeah, to say, bro? Things, fam. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, like with the whole crypto and trading, nothing wrong with it, but a lot of people, they like to, sh like, for example, bro, man's on Snapchat, you might see a man take a picture of a, of a bus down watching us in a Dubai um skyscraper building and writing quotes but they've got no assets bro but the man that like yeah, me, yeah, yeah, yeah. The man like me and you who's doing our thing we're looking at our accounts and we're laughing bro you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, like yeah. bro like and that's what i'm saying a lot of people like i think you done a video two days ago where you was like oh why don't these roadmen show what they're doing now bro it's facts bro it's facts bro fam, they, they don't fam a lot of these men here that come off road yeah 
Mm-hmm. They, I watch these interviews, like podcasts and that, and they say, yeah, just, just yeah, streams and that. <laughs> they never tell you like what they're doing that's actually legit. I reckon them lot are still peddling weed. They're just keeping it on the low, just shutting to their neighbours and their friends and that. But they never tell you, oh, I'm doing this. I'm an electrician or whatever. They don't. Yeah. They never tell you. Some some of them do. Some yeah. of them are humble enough to say, yo, I've just been doing deliveries, you know, for whatever reason. Yeah, like, and there's nothing wrong with that, bro. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. You know, it is. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What people need to understand is that, cool, like, you can be out here trapping... You can be out here doing fraud, but how long are you going to sustain that for? Like, it gets to a point where you're going to get older and you're going to look at your pay slip. You, need, you know what I'm saying? Like, all the property thing, they ask for your pay slips. It's all good you making money in the trap, but how are you going to clean the money? You know what I'm trying to say? So, a lot of people need to start thinking out here, bro. It's, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. Trust me, even being self employed, yeah, you get scrutinized. Yeah, let alone mm. being a, a man that's making money off the roads, not paying tax on that. Mm. So the, the, the thing is, yeah, like I was saying in a video the other day, yeah, at some point in your life, yeah, you're gonna have to sit down for three <laughs> to five years. Yeah. You can let that be in the classroom or in the jail cell. Because mm. if you, in order to get a good paying job and that, you need to sit down in the classroom for three to five years, whether it's uni or being an electrician or whatever. And, if no, you don't want to do that and you get on the road and that at some point yeah, they're gonna have you sitting down the judge is gonna have you sitting down oh, five years it's facts it's fact because and even me what was it once i said these no. judges yeah that wear the wigs and that them man mm. there when they go into the courthouse yeah that day the sentencing day he might have given up 50 years worth of sentences and that and he will go mm. home and sleep good that night not mm. give a damn blood your mm. ass is in the cell fam for five years or even two years and that but yeah carry on so you see, it's even like I said, I was in Northampton for like three, four years, obviously mm. out there doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want to yeah, go into yeah, yeah. but it got to a point where I'm like, bro, like, man, I don't want to be 30. Cool, I might have money, but what have I built for my life, innit? So that's when I had a realisation, like, yo, let me just get a job. Even if the job's not making as much as I was when I was out here doing it, but I know the long run, get peace of mind, I can invest my money, I can sleep properly, you know what I'm trying to say? And yeah. To be fair, I haven't, I haven't looked back because there's been times where, you, you know what I'm trying to say, you was on the road, so you know what I'm trying to say, like, there is yeah. times when you're like, rah, like, I don't want to work and someone's giving me orders, but in the long term, when you've got your yards, you get your money, you can make enough money where you don't have to work for another man, you know what I'm trying to say, so that's the mentality I have right now, so. I don't know how these guys yeah, are still on road, like, looking over their shoulder i remember yeah not too long ago i had some dumb situation where a guy has tra- blocked my car in because he's thinking that i'm parking in his parking space and mm. the guy was talking rubbish so i just pushed him he stood in my face in it yeah while I'm sitting in my car. So i pushed yeah. him man's got the camera out oh i'm gonna call the police and i've just kept it moving in my car yeah mm. and there's me sitting in my yard on tilt thinking are the police gonna come i've, I've messaged my girl say listen yeah if you message me in like an hour and I don't respond, that means the police will come. Blood, they came to my yard, yeah? Sitting in my bedroom, yeah? These times, where's my girl? Mm. No, she was staying at her friend's yard, yeah? I'm sitting in my yard, yeah? I'm sitting in my bedroom and that. So I must have messaged her, like, listen, yeah? If you message me in an hour and a half and I don't, you don't get no response, that means they, they took me, yeah? yeah? Blood, I'm sitting down, I'm just hearing yeah. cars drive past my house, and I'm thinking, yeah. when are these not going to come? Are they going to come? Are they not going to come? Because all I did was push a man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, an hour and a half later, and let me tell you something. Nobody knocks my door because yeah? I don't have deliveries come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have no friends up here, so no one has no reason. As soon as they knock the door, I was like, "It's them! It's them! It's them!" Bam, and that's just over me pushing someone. Now they oh, dropped the charges. You. A man tried to press charges because a man tried to get in my face, and I pushed him. You know? It's and mad out here, bro. Imagine, yeah, there's an operation. You're on the obo, there's an operation on you. How do you even sleep at night knowing that the, the police are after you? Bro, mm. oh, that's why me as well as I'm getting older, bro, I just find this confrontation. Obviously, you shouldn't back down from confrontation, but everyone's yeah. got to be smart on what they're doing because, like you said, <laughs> in another day, if, let's say the guy was like, like, let's say, for example, like you pushed the guy, the feds came, and he was a prick, he would try press charges, you know what I'm trying to say? So yeah. that's like to anyone listening, like, any situation, just try control it you know what i'm trying to say obviously you can't control everything but if you can then control it in it because i know too many men that's in jail for stupid stuff bro i know too many people that passed away for all the bullshit bro like it's not worth it like you know what i'm saying so i'm 
I'm glad you said jail and passed away. Big up man like yeah. Andrew. Yeah, he said the morgue and the prisons is filled up with nothing but ego. Look, like, blood. There's been times here yeah, where something happened, yeah, and I'm thinking, blood. I thought to just go back down there and do something, you know. But blood, it's not going to be worth it. You're going to be me, sitting bro. behind the door, fam. And you're going to be regretting, bro. So dumb, like a man just yeah. watching you or whatever. Really. So, you're going to be regretting, bro. Do you know what it is, bro? It's it's mad because this is one thing I've realized in life, bro. People like us have been through some real shit on the streets, and like now. Mm. You kind of realize there's no point in going through that, you know what I'm just saying? But men that ain't really from the streets want to try to do this tough guy act, they go to jail, they're not blow for it, bro. That's why they get bullied. They get bullied, bro. That's why I talk all the men, them like, yo, but if you just get a job or find a trade, like you said, save your money, buy a house, or invest, then live in the long run because it's all good, cool. You're dripping in your 20s and whatever. Because I think even, bro, I've been watching your videos, bro. You said something that was very true, bro. All these guys driving the Mercs in the early 20s, the Beamers, when they're 40s, they're driving shit cars, bro. That can't be me, bro. <laughs> you get it, bro. It's wild, and bro. And that's only because, yeah, like, I've met man that's 45, and they've told me, oh, when I was 20, I was doing this. So I didn't yeah. even need to be alive or watching them back then. I've just taken the information. Yeah, that they do. And it's a few people, so I'm like, well, this... If it's a few people that I've known, that I know, mm. well, then there must be thousands of people out there, really. So. A smart man learns from his mistakes. A wise man, no pun intended, learns from others' mistakes, bro. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. No pun intended, but you get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I you think... know, I made a follow-up to that. So I was saying, obviously, a smart man learns from his own mistakes. A wise man mm. learns from mistakes of others. And a great man, he doesn't only yeah. just learn from his own mistakes <laughs> or the mistakes of others. He learns yeah. from other people's mistakes and then he tells other people yeah, man. Oh, that he, they don't make those mistakes. Well. And I'm telling you, bro, I think my epiphany yeah. in life was, I think my epiphany, bro, honestly, bro, I think I was 19, obviously, man's out here doing whatever. Imagine mm. with all the niggas that are older than man, so they're like 24. Bro, man's just sitting down, the youth smoking a zoo. He's looking at man like, bro, I messed up my life. I got people investing in property flying out on my bum. So I'm thinking, I can't be like you. Yeah. Fuck that, bro. So that's why yeah. I've always kind of been interested in property, to be fair, because to be fair, I think even people say like, you come across a point in your life where you come across bare money and it's like, what are you going to do with that money? You might as well say, put it down in an investment in the long run and laughing. So, yeah. You, you see what you said, yeah, about seeing them older man that's a bum and they're only like five years older than you, yeah. Do you know what I've wild. Mm. Say that again? It's wild, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, do you know what I've clocked, yeah? So that, that's just man that are five years older than you, yeah? But like, yeah. you see that, you see like there's certain crackheads in your ends, yeah? Like you yeah. might just think, oh, they're a crackhead in that. No, back in the day, I'm not saying that they was a bad man or a money man, but like they, there was a somebody in the ends and that. They, we, yeah. we might just look at them like they're cats and that. But yeah. certain of them man there, yeah, are certain man that you know right now, they're going to be like them. They actually used to be a someone in the ends, but they stayed on a road too long and they become a part of it. That's what I'm saying, bro. Everyone has their run. And what you do with your money, if you don't invest or do something smart with your money, you're going to regret. I know certain people that are on the road trapping, they might have got robbed or whatever. Some made a smart decision to come off the road. They've invested and now they're chilling. Some want to retaliate. They enjoy it. Just, you just got to think about the long-term future because, bro, at the end of the day, like, it's a draw out in London as well, bro. It's yeah. a draw out, bro. Like that's what I'm saying. All my niggas they drive nice cars, but me, I just say, yo, man, I could get a car as well. But there's no point. <clears throat> just get a cab anyway. Just get a train. When I'm 30, 40, I move out. Then I can buy the car because I've got investment paying. Like you said, I don't want to be sleeping praying that oh this tire don't burst or yeah. the handbrake. You know, I remember your video. You said it, bro. I know, bro. It's fact, bro. It's fact. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's some yeah. people their finances are so just on the rocks and that, yeah? On their way to work, yeah, they hear a noise and they're like, that sounds yeah. expensive. I the hope this car not pop because I can't even get to work because I ain't going to have no money to fix the car and then it's a downward spiral from there. Yeah, man. And even now that I invested in my first property, I'm in a similar situation to you where, you know when you said you bought your first one and I think you said like, yeah, like 13, 14 bags there, but you feel like you were spending the piece sort of thing. Mm, mm, and then, so you yeah, bought the thing yeah, in yeah. Egypt. Bro, I'm yeah. in a similar situation, but my mindset is if I spend that money, it's like, let's say, for example, you got like, I don't know, 15 grand after you buy a first property. Every grand you spend, you're going a month behind from when you need to get the next property. 
So oh, I like mindset. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bro, I like that. that. Yeah, that's, that's, my mind, that's my mindset. So anyone that's watching that is in property or is looking to do property, obviously, first listen to Jay Wise, of course. Bro knows what he's saying. And obviously, like, every two years, I try to get a new thing. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, and then remortgage, and you're laughing. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, wow. That's why I'm able to... So I'm going to be buying another house soon, yeah? That's why I'm able to do that, because I actually done a remortgage. Exactly. So I remortgaged this house. Now I've got mm. money to buy another house and that, because of the work that I put in over the last 10 years. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I was trying to get one in Northampton, but by the time I was there... I know, like, all oh, Abington, Kingsford, all them areas has gone up in price, man. Them yeah, yeah, yeah. Hampton, man. I know about them spots there, man. Town Centre, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, know, I, know, I know about NN World, man. Yeah, yeah, Nah, nah, but, bro, big up the videos, man. Keep doing your thing, bro. You're doing, yeah, you're doing a lot. You're doing good work, bro. And you see what it is? As fellow black brother, bro, I respect what you're doing, bro. Like, I yeah, feel like a lot, yeah. of people, a lot of people, a lot of people in the community, they don't like to show love, bro. Only till it blows, bro. But your thing, bro. Trust me, bro. You know, you know where you're going. We're all supporting you, bro. Especially me, bro. Hundred percent, bro. Yeah, man. I, I jumped on his team just to show the man them. Yo, there's a way out, you know. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's you yeah, see you know me personally. I mean? man, I can only relate to people that man can look at and say, "Yo, like this reminds me of myself." You know what I'm trying to say? Mm. That's why. That's why I subscribe to your Patreon, bro. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. Respect. Respect. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't. See me, bro, like, you know, like, bro, like I'm going to say again, I'll go on TikTok, I'll go on Instagram, I see guys trying to make this facade, bro, with the whole HD cameras, trying to make everything look nice. No, you just give the harsh truth, bro. And that's how man is. That's how man will tell the man them the harsh truth, bro. A lot of people yeah. like to sugarcoat this thing, like, oh, no disrespect to people doing rent to rent and that, but I just look at it like you're just leeching on another man's business. That's like me building up a line. That's like me building up a line. And then you're saying to me, oh, um, let me borrow your line and give the shots and give you a percentage back. No, nah, bro. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, bad yeah. to let is the, bad to let the eat. For me, that's the easiest. You buy the house, you sit. As long as you've got good tenants, <laughs> you're laughing, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. As long as the tenants are paying their rent, bro. Yeah, man. But now, nah, big up once again, Jay Wise, man. Just keep doing your thing, bro. Love, bro. Yeah, respect, man. All right, cool. Respect, bro. Bless. Yeah, see. Yeah, that's a nice one there, man. I like, I like talking to him still. <laughs>